Zolfman also signing in. This is the movie review for Dark Places, which is the most recent adaptation from a Gillian Flynn novel of the same name. Now, Dark Places is based on a young girl, Libby Day, who survives a terrible family massacre 28 years ago and now she with the help of a group is trying to discover the truth of what happened that night now whenever you review a film which is based on or adapted from a novel you have to look at it as the adaptation not as a standalone movie as a standalone movie Dark Places is good it has a very good cast which includes Charlize Theron, who is a, who is a brilliant actress. Um, you have Chloe Grace Moretz, who is another great actress, in my opinion. Christina Hendricks. So you have a very good cast. And Dark Places, as a movie, is good. Um, it has a lot going for it. However, for me, when you, when you look at it as an adaptation from Gillian Flynn's novel, Dark Places, it lacks the same intensity uh, and it's not as bleak or, and as dark as, as Gillian Flynn's novel was. Um, the film seems to me like it, it, it's, it's rushing itself to, to a conclusion um, and it doesn't flow. It's, it is difficult to adapt a film from a book, no doubt, especially when you have somebody like Gillian Flynn who is such a great author but when you consider the great job that David Fincher did with Gone Girl, this film, unfortunately, even with the cast it has, isn't able to do justice to the novel. So, um, in my opinion, if you haven't read the book, you will enjoy the film. It is a very good film. But if you've read the book, then the film will be a disappointment. Um, however, you know, even for the cast alone, go and watch the movie. It's very good, um, but don't expect too much. Don't expect another Gone Girl type of adaptation. Once again, Zulfman author brings you the truth. Zulfman author signs out. Stay safe.